<laughs> All right, let's move on to the nut job of the year. And fortunately or unfortunately, as you want to take it, it was a tie. Because <laughs> I couldn't figure out. I just couldn't figure out which one of these was just like, yeah, something wrong with y'all. So for tie number one. I'm friends several years before my wife and I started dating. The date was in early September, and we met in a restaurant in the city. It was a nice place, the kind where waitstaff wear dress shirts, ties, etc. I was in a nice suit and tie, and she showed up in jeans, flip-flops, and a hoodie. I jokingly said something along the lines of, I'm assuming they didn't tell you this place is kind of snooty. She says, they did, I just don't give an F. I'm not shaving my legs and putting on some fancy dress for some guy who I don't even know if I want to touch his dick let alone if I'm willing to let him between my legs. I just stared at her in disbelief. She then said, I mean, you seem nice and all, but I'm not in the mood to do all the work when I can just go home and do it myself. I asked her to keep her voice down and she said, Why do you want me to keep my voice down? Are you afraid people will hear me talking about going home and effing myself with my vibrator instead of letting you come back home and eff me? I just stood up, walked over to the waiter, paid for my drink, apologized to them for her outburst, and said, Blind date. I am not sticking around, and left. I did hear from my friends that she later got married to some guy, stabbed him on their anniversary a few years later, and is now in jail for attempted murder. They were like, yeah, we always knew she was kinda crazy. Yeah, effing think? And then down in the comments, OP shares some more information. Yes, she stabbed her husband. Stabbed, not poked, stabbed. Yeah, she was pretty, but not worth that level of crazy. The people who set us up are no longer friends of mine. That situation was part of the falling out. Also, they became completely insufferable twits. They didn't know that she was that level of crazy. They thought that she was just whiny or pushy at times and outspoken. This woman stabbed her husband about 20 times with one of those small handheld gardening shovels. It was their one year anniversary. She's still in prison. The husband eventually got out of the hospital, went through rehab and moved out of the state. Last I'd heard, he'd gotten remarried and had kids. Our next reply is from- What friends are those? I don't understand why he mad at the friends. Cause they knew yeah. she was crazy. So how many people, you, how many people know crazy people? And we overusing the word crazy. Now this particular person, crazy. But what I'm saying, generally speaking, how many people? I mean, come on, come yeah, on. I think, that, well, I, I, I think they come overuse on. the word. And then as guys, the, the as guys, what's one of the dumb jokes we hear? We hear all. We've been hearing it since we were kids. Crazy girls are the most fun. So, that's some of the ignorance that we hear growing up as well. So this person, now this person, was like homicidal that's a problem but you can't put that on your friend like they did she hadn't stabbed four people beforehand and then they set her up look like, she's reformed no they she was just a little <laughs> and they said hey she's cute you think she's cute y'all hit it off hey and then you had a blind date with this person you saw some warning signs and you got up and left <laughs> you like got you up. That you can't even be mad at your friends for that. They they their but liability they stopped with the with the with the um with the blind date. That's where their liability stops. This is why you don't go on blind dates. Period. <laughs> Good one, Mickey. <laughs> and we don't know what set her off that day. It seems to me, and now that I'm rehearing the sore, but Honestly, it really just seems to me that she was, she may have been a little crazy, but I'm just saying general for that night. It just seemed like she just was, had a bad day or whatever, and she just had an attitude, and here we go. No. Like, mm, no. I've had a bad day. No. I don't she was think unstable. I, she was unstable. I never think I would go into a restaurant and tell a man, why would I have sex with you when I could use my vibrator? I, I just, yeah, you know, I don't remember been, that. She might have been damaged. I don't remember that conversation ever happened. She may very well have been damaged. 
who knows what abuse she herself has suffered through her life where she became what she became but the fact is that woman was unstable <laughs> so